Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by Dutch Paper Girl. Thank you Hans Werner for making such a nice pattern and thank you for giving me permission to make a tutorial with it. And these are the models you need to make YAMP. The base is the size of a CD, diameter of 12 cm, and there's another circle, diameter of 9.6 cm. And when you draw two squares of each 12 by 12 cm, you can apply those two circles and get the shapes you want. I will put a PDF on my website as well and uh, I used quite thick paper, 160 grams so I made a pattern in the silhouette cutter and I will put that on my website as well if you want to use that. How to fold it? The curved green lines are uh, mountain folds, the other curved lines will be valley folds. As you can see, you combine two different parts. They fit exactly and then you fold over those side flaps. Be as precise as possible. It's a bit tricky with this thick paper, so I would suggest you use paper that's a bit thinner. This is 160 grams. A bit sturdy for this project. You can make the ball by connecting two parts by sliding them together. Put some glue on it. Make sure you use glue that doesn't dry too quick. This glue I used dries very quickly and then it's very difficult to position all the parts with, uh, uh, with exactly the same. You will see that at the end result later on. Sometimes the gap is a bit bigger, sometimes a bit smaller, but I couldn't adjust it. So use glue that needs some time to fix. And don't put glue all the way to the edge, because you will see that. Make sure you get a clip that's very strong, otherwise it will fall apart. And try to form it as a ball and then adjust so all the spaces end up nice and even. Because I use very stiff paper, it will try to fold back time and time again, so I will put glue on that and glue it, otherwise it won't keep its shape. The 
bit of a shame actually because that would look nice. Oh, here's the last part. A bit of a fiddle. I flattened it out. Try not to damage your paper. Slide them together and then gently fold it back. I didn't glue all the parts carefully yet, so I'll have to do that. Fill in all the gaps and make it nice and smooth. Well, here I show how I did that. Get a stick with some glue on it. Put it in between. And get it in place. There it is, the end result. I like the straight lines in it. I hope you like it too, and we'll try to make it. As I said before, you can find a PDF or uh, a studio file on my website. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!